Hey guys, I'm Royal Schoen. Installing a trailer hitch on your Toyota CHR can take you to some really fun places like camping and biking, or anywhere across North America. Let's take a look at the installation process. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. To begin the installation process, we'll need to remove the bumper paneling. The first step is removing the underbody paneling on the driver's side. So we will be removing these four pins. One, two, three, four, and two threaded fasteners. The second threaded fastener is located behind the wheel well. And these can be snug, so if you want to switch to a trim panel tool to assist you, highly recommend. And we will repeat the same steps on the passenger side. So back on the driver's side, we're going to be removing three retainer clips located here, here, and up here on the interior of the rear bumper. Back on the driver's side, we have to remove half of the wheel well trim by removing one screw and one push pin using a 10 millimeter socket and a flathead screwdriver. To pull back our trim paneling, we need to remove three clips located here, here, and here. To remove those clips, we'll have to reach under the paneling of the car and push up on the clip and then pull back. Now we will remove two push pins located here and here on the driver's side body. And we'll repeat these steps on the passenger side. So the last step in removing the entire bumper is removing the push pin located on the passenger and driver's side wheel wells. So with the two push pins removed, we're now going to remove the entire black fascia on the rear of the vehicle. To do so, we're going to start at the corners and then just pull back. If it does get stuck like so, I recommend using a trim panel tool and push down on the clip and then pop. And only remove it to about this length before moving to the other side of the vehicle. and then now we're just gonna set the bumper aside. Our next step is to remove the bumper beam. We will do so by removing four bolts. One, two, three, four, located on the driver and the passenger side. We will be using a 12 millimeter socket to remove those bolts. And we'll repeat these steps on the passenger side. And just make sure you're supporting the beam when you remove the last bolt. With the eight bolts removed, we're just going to lift up on the bumper beam and pull out. On the back of the bumper beam, there are two metal tabs. These tabs need to be bent slightly inward using a hammer. So now we are going to align our hitch with our bumper using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you do not have a jack, I definitely recommend getting an extra set of hands. So to attach our hitch, we're going to be using our provided bolts, which include the bolt, the lock washer, and the flat washer. So now we're going to align our bumper beam with our hitch and our bumper. Even with U-Haul's hitch jack, this was difficult to line up the holes with the hitch and the rear bumper by myself. So if you do have an extra set of hands, I highly recommend using them. And now we're just gonna put the rest of our bolts in. So now we're going to torque all eight of our bolts to the vehicle manufacturer specifications. We will be using a 13 millimeter socket. 
So now we're going to reinstall our rear fascia. Now we're gonna put all of our paneling back together, including the pins and the screws. So with our hitch installed and our vehicle now on ground level, let's go over some important measurements you need for your hitch accessories. This is a one and a quarter inch hitch receiver. From the pinhole to the end of the bumper is five inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 12 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack and a cargo carrier. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.